Hey YouTube, it's your girl Sheena with She Is Fab and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a DIY on these Bermuda shorts as well as a DIY on my off the shoulder graphic tee look. So if you want to see how I achieve this look, just go ahead and keep watching. Okay guys, so I picked up these jeans um, at $2 day at Family Thrift Outlet and right away I knew that I wanted to make a pair of Bermuda shorts. I do not like the heavy cuffing. Um, these jeans were very stretchy and they kind of fall like um, mid waist, they're not high waisted, so I knew they would be perfect for Bermuda shorts. And yes, that is cookie in my bed. Whew, child. So to achieve the Bermuda short look, I actually took a pair of Bermuda shorts um, and I like the way that these shorts fit and where they fall. So I decided to use those shorts to measure where I wanted to cut my jeans. So, <laughs> I mean, you could try them on in the mirror. That would probably be the best way to do it. But, you know, this is how I did it. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut the jeans um, to the length that I want them. And yeah, so we can get started with the tutorial. Okay, so now that the jeans are cut, the first thing I'm gonna start doing is fraying the jeans. I am pulling out the white stitching um, and it, it's very easy to pull out. So that is how I'm going to fray the jeans. So you just start pulling, um, yeah. And that's how you achieve the frayed look. Um, you will have to wash the jeans to get more um, of a, um, more of a frayed look, but this is how you actually start the process. So right now I'm just going to fray the jeans. <laughs> So next I'm going to fray the, um, the top parts of the pocket. So uh, what you're gonna have to do is you're going to have to cut the um, stitching from the pocket. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. Now I've already done this one, so I'm just showing you um, how to fray it, but I'm gonna go ahead and cut that lining off the top of the jeans that I'm showing you right there. And then you will fray it just like you would, like I frayed the um, the jeans at the, where I cut the jeans at. Um, I hope that's making sense. But just, just watch the tutorial. <laughs> Okay guys, so here I'm just showing you how I started the fraying process and now I'm going to go ahead and put the jeans in the washing machine and um, yeah, see how much more fraying I need to do. Okay guys, so I washed the jeans and this is the area that um, I frayed or I started the fraying before I actually washed them. And so the fraying is coming out very nicely and it's also frayed on this side however as you can see it didn't do anything on this side so i actually um cut it a little bit more and i'm going to show you how you can actually fray it with the scissors i didn't fray it with the scissors the first time because it was very easy to pull out 
I'm talking about the white stitching. Um, and I thought once I washed them and dried them that some of the fraying would start, but it didn't. So I just cut along here again because it actually came out of the dryer like this, but no fraying, right? So let me show you how I'm going to start the fraying and then I'm going to fray it as much as I can and then I will wash them again and then they should be ready to wear. And then also this is how the pockets came out. So I'll also um, fray this a little bit more and wash them again. But I did not do any distressing or any holes because, um, you know, I think it's more age appropriate, at least for me, um, with it just being with no holes and no distressing. I think this is going to look um, perfect. So let me show you how I'm going to get the fraying started on. So this is the area that we want to fray, okay? If this is the underside of the jeans and this is all of the white stitching okay so you'll need a pair of scissors okay and so you just take the sharp edge of the scissors what let me finish doing this it's in my bag right there don't get in my video <laughs> so and you just take the, really, you're going to snort? I'm sorry. My Bye, goodness. Lauren. Anybody want a 20-year-old? Um, and so you just take the scissors and you just pull the stitching from the underside. It's really not that hard. I don't know why it's... Really... There we go. <laughs> it's not that hard, guys. I'm sorry. But you see how it starts to fray? So this is all of the white stitching in the jeans. And this is what we're the look that we're going for. I mean, once I, before I wear them, I will tame this. But this is what we want, okay, to come out of the jean. So again, this is the um, side that you wear out. This is the inside. This is all of the white stitching. This is what we want to come up, okay? So you take the little edge of your scissors, the little pointy part, okay? And you just take it and you raise up the stitching on the other side until it pulls out like that. So I'm gonna do that all along here. Okay, so uh, I need to do a little bit more here, but I just wanted to show you guys how um, I frayed it because remember this whole section right here was not frayed at all. So I had to like kind of like manually do it. And normally, like I said, you don't have to do it that way. It normally frays um, once you start pulling out, like I pulled out most of the, uh, the white threading on this paint on this side and when I washed it more of it came out but for some reason this side didn't so I had to like manually pull out the threads with my, my scissors from the other side so I'll go ahead and wash these again and um, hopefully by the second sometimes you have to do a third wash um, they should be ready um, to wear okay Okay guys, so I'm going to show you how I cut the neck out of my t-shirt to make it um, an off the shoulder um, type look. Um, I love graphic t-shirts. I got this graphic t-shirt from Target. Um, I got it today, today is Sunday, and they actually have them on sale for $8, so that is a great price. Um, so this is the area that we're going to cut out. Now, I, I know how I like for my shirts to look, but I would suggest you trying the shirt on and kind of eyeballing how 
deep you want your cut to be because I normally just start with cutting out the neckline and then I make it deeper um, to achieve the look that I'm going for. Now, I always buy my graphic tees um, one size larger. Those are in a large because I like the oversized look. So right now, I'm just going to cut out the neckline, the actual um, part that goes around your neck. And just remember, guys, when you're cutting out the neckline, the you're also cutting out the back of the shirt and so sometimes the back of the shirt is going to be a little bit deeper than the top because of the way that the that t-shirts are cut so that's why i always suggest just cutting out the neckline and then trying on the t-shirt to see if you want to make it more of an off the shoulder type look so i'm cutting out the neckline just the neckline that's just how i start and then I go back over the shirt because, of course, my cuts are normally very jagged and I have pieces um, hanging um, over. So I'm just going to go over and cut those little strands or where um, it's not cut um, evenly. So that's what I'm doing now. Now, like I said, this shirt is an extra large. So normally um, I do go um, and cut just a tad bit more of a deeper um, type uh, cut but i always start with the neckline and then try the shirt on see if i like that look and then if not i'll cut it a little bit more okay Okay, so I got the um, little extra pieces off. So now I'm going to make another cut because again, I know how I like my shirts. And I think I said earlier that the shirt wasn't an extra large, guys. I'm sorry, the shirt is a large. Um, because regularly, or typically, if I wasn't gonna cut um, the neck out, I would wear the t-shirts in a medium. So I size up one size larger, which is a large. So the shirt is a large and not an extra large. So again, um, I just went over it um, very slightly because I do know how I like the shirts. And so now I'm just gonna cut off any um, extra pieces or pieces that aren't um, you know, cut to my liking, any pieces of fabric that might be um, hanging off because uh, I'm a perfectionist. <laughs> and um, yeah, so when you wear your shirt, okay, when you put it on, you have to pull it over your shoulder. I mean, I you don't want to cut the shirt big enough to where it's falling off. You want to cut it just enough so when you pull it off your shoulder, it looks perfect. Um, and then you'll see once I put the shirt on um, what I'm referring to. But yeah, I'm just cleaning up the, uh, the cut right now. So here guys, I'm just inspecting the shirt, making sure that um, everything looks nice and smooth. There's no extra fabric. Um, and what I would suggest at this point guys, tr to try the shirt on to make sure um, it's going to, that you're gonna achieve the look that you want. Um, so yeah, I am, I'm ready to wear it. Okay guys, so I have my Bermuda shorts on and they are kind of to my liking. Um, I need to do a couple more washes um, but for video purposes, I wanted to get this video out to you guys, um, but they're fine. I think they're actually very cute. I like the pockets, the way that the pockets are frayed, and my t-shirt came out perfect, guys. Perfect. Um, I absolutely love this look, and I love 
um, making my uh, graphic tees more feminine. Um, I think this is a great little um, outfit. I would. Okay, so here, guys, I just tucked the shirt in so that you can see the frayed pockets. Um, I typically wouldn't wear it like this. I, like I said, I like the oversized look, but the, here is another option. Um, tucking the shirt in and then just showing off your um, frayed pockets. And again, once I continue to wash the jeans, they will become more and more um, of a distressed uh, frayed look. Okay guys, so I just tied a knot in the back of the shirt to give it more of a snatched look to show off that waistline. And so yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you want to see more of my content and go ahead and hit the bell notification for future uploads. Thank you so much for watching and have a blessed day. Bye.